Hey, my name is Justin Lindsay, and I'm a current student at the University of West Georgia in the doctorate program in school improvement with an area of concentration in special education. The past few years at the University of West Georgia have been very rewarding, and I've been able to see myself grow both personally and professionally. I can't say enough uh, about how supportive the, the staff is at the, at the University of West Georgia. So if you're an incoming student, I highly recommend that you, you know, just um, be willing to ask questions and, and search for help. Be willing to ask current students and former students. Be, be willing to look up people that have graduated in the past and see what they've done. And, you know, reach out to them for help because chances are they're, gonna, they're there to help you. Uh, I was fortunate enough to, to actually be there in person uh, during our workshop and, and listen to, the, to current students at the time who have graduated and ask them questions. And that, re that really helped me. And so um, if you're listening to this and you need any help or have any uh, questions never hesitate to ask any of us. I know that that we're here to help you uh, But currently I teach uh, Special education at Calhoun Middle School in Calhoun, Georgia. I teach in a resource setting. I work with a variety of students uh, With numerous disabilities. I also coach cross-country at Calhoun High School and have been doing so uh, Holding both positions the past seven years my most rewarding part um, at the University of West West Georgia has just been, you know, the impact that the the classroom and the professors have had on me professionally. I've I've grown significantly the past few years. Everyone's story is different, and so you have to write your own. But for me, you know, I entered the program um, after four years in education, and I've gone on seven now. Um, finished all my coursework. Have two more chapters left in my dissertation. But I was able to, you know, to enter the program in a time when I was still growing and learning as an educator. And, and the University of West Georgia helped open other doors for me. I was named the 2019-2020 Calhoun City Schools Teacher of the Year. And, you know, and part of that was due to the fact that I was always being challenged mentally. And, um, you know, challenge, and at the same time, I was applying what I was learning in the classroom and in the community. And I was seeing results. And, and a lot of that was due to the fact that... Um, you know, we were, we were learning some great things at the University of West Georgia. And so, I, you know, I challenge you to do the same thing and see, you know, sometimes you may, you may encounter some coursework that, that you're going to think, man, this does not apply to what I'm doing. And it may not apply specifically, but the thought process and how, you know, problem solving and, and whatnot, it, it does apply in some way or some fashion. And if it, if it does not, it will apply in the future. Um, the most challenging part, and I think that this is going to be different for everyone, but I think the most challenging part is figuring out a schedule for yourself. So, um, to me, as with as with work in public education, uh, the work comes in waves, and so you have to be prepared to row the boat. But everyone has to row their boat differently because the waves are going to look different for everyone. Um, so, for many people, um, that means working consistently throughout the week. Maybe not as much as others, but then on the weekend, you know, you're really focusing on, you, you set uh, time aside to focus on your craft and your writing and your work. Um, for others, you know, you may be consistent throughout all seven days of the week with your work. Just find the schedule that works for you. That, that um, was challenging, but once I found the schedule that works for me and sort of figured out um, what the expectations were, uh, it became a lot easier. At the same time, you have to make sure that um, you take the time to to focus on yourself, you know, to, 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 you know, go for a walk, go for a run, whatever it is that you do, you need to set, to set time aside uh, to help clear your mind and and, and focus on your self um, self help. It's very important. Um, I know it sounds cheesy and it's often overlooked, but I'm telling you that's what's going to make a difference these next few years for you. Um, as far as anything that I would do differently, um, looking back, I, you know someone who a former student great professional he even recommended uh, to me hey you need to make sure that you're on top of the schedule um, that the dissertation process is going to go fast and at the same time you know if, if you get behind in a few steps it's going to put you back a little bit and, and it has with me um, like I said I finished all coursework uh, but um, it's going to be uh, December before I graduate probably and, and I think that um, as a doctoral student um, you're so busy that often you overlook the little things. And one of the little things you do not want to overlook is the dissertation process and the schedule, like, you know, the dates in which you have to have things done, um, what all, you know, is involved with that, how many weeks does that take. Um, don't assume that 
that your feedback is going to be what you need at the moment to move on to the next step. It may, the feedback will be what you need to improve your craft, but it may not be what you need to um, go on to the ne next step. So just be attentive to the scheduling process and the timelines. Um, so advice that I have for the new cohort, first of all, congratulations. You each deserve a pat on the back for being chosen to be a, a member of um, the doctoral program at the University of West Georgia. Definitely considering the reputation that it continues to build. Uh, but my advice was given to me by a former colleague, not a, not a former colleague, a current colleague at um, my school. He told me that you cannot um, save the world with your dissertation. Now you can solve a problem with your dissertation, but you can't save the world yet. Uh, use your dissertation to fill in um, a gap in the literature that's, you know, that, that needs to be answered. But don't be so consumed that it impacts you on a daily basis with your work um, or it prevents you from eventually saving the world in education. Uh, so just be willing to um, you know, learn through trial and error when it comes to the scheduling. Focus on completing the dissertation and, you know, and, and turning in a good, a good craft that um, will open the doors for you later on. And you know, do not be afraid to reach out for help. But um, congratulations and best of luck to you. Thank you.